For the rhino, we blow the balloon up so there is maybe six inches of air uninflated at the end. That is required because that's going to be the form. With the rhino, we're going to start at the tail and work forwards. So we put a small tail on, about a three-quarter inch bubble. And then we put two legs on. These will probably be about one and a half inch bubbles. And we lock this bone up together. And that gives us the back legs. Again, this takes a bit of judgment. We look at the rest of the balloon. I'm going to put on about a five inch bubble. And another five inch bubble. Lock just those together. So that's half the body. I'm going to make another five inch bubble. I'm going to do a three bubble roll. So I'm going to push it between the other three bubbles. Like that. I then give the rhino two front legs. Which are about one and a half inches long. Here's the body. Give the rhino two small ears. Each about three quarters of an inch. And I lock this close. And then I take the nose, and this is what gives it the rhino feature. Twist the nose over, and I squeeze. Let it go. That means the horn sticks up in the ear. Then I pose the front legs. The way I pose the front legs, I take these two bubbles, pull them apart, push the front, the front legs in that gap. With practice, there's my rhino.